One of the best ways to save water is to water at the right times and in the right amounts. When people uh, leave water on too long, the soil can't hold it all and that water is lost out the bottom of the profile. Um, and so knowing when to turn the water on, when to turn it off is really important. The irrigation is the largest water user uh, by far. It's 80 to 90 percent of the water uh, diverted or used, um, consumptively used in, in the western states. Over half of the, the land that's irrigated in the state of Washington is these big center pivots. When we can uh, improve the efficiency of these in a, in a small way, we can uh, have a large impact on, on the amount of water that's available. Everybody figured out that if you use the gooseneck and then drop the drop down, you know, most of them are about six to, you know, eight feet off the ground. Um, and then you use a, a type of sprinkler that kind of sprayed, spread the water out that way, that you could lower the pressure of the pivot and then your efficiency really increased. And what we're looking at here is uh, a spearmint field. We grow both spearmint and peppermint. And uh, about three years ago, we got introduced to this Lisa system, which would be, what you're seeing there is this one tower it was with these ultra low uh, heads uh, closer together, real low pressure, basically just dropping the water onto the ground. You decrease the drop spacing so the drops are, you know, less than about five feet apart. They're, they're very close together so a lot more drops, um, but then you drag the water all the way on the ground. However, we can also do with uh, put a little sp a small sprinkler on the end of that drop to help spread the water out a little bit and, and help get a more uniform coverage. What we found in uh, the two years that we've harvested this was that uh, in mint it's uh, pretty beneficial. We were seeing a significant increase in yield and we're thinking of uh, converting this entire pivot to uh, this Lisa system and maybe put probably put uh, flow meters on either pivot, both pivots and hopefully find that we use less water and get a better yield. Where this using LIPA and LISA is really going to pay uh, farmers back is in cases where there is a water shortage. They don't have enough water to adequately irrigate their crop and their crop is under real water stress. In those conditions, you get 20% more water to the soil per gallon of water that you pump it's going to pay huge dividends in terms of money back to the in, in the in the farmer's pocket. Our water district here has senior water rights, and so we did not get cut back in a water short year. But that doesn't mean that we don't need to be uh, do due diligence for the amount of water we use because uh, uh, it's the only right thing to do. And uh, so we have had adequate water, but. Uh, I'm not so sure the time isn't going to come where um, it's either going to cost us more uh, by the acre foot than what we're paying and, or lack of, thereof. So you save water, you save energy, um, and we're finding that you, know, you, you still get uh, you know, really good quality.